Welcome back to the channel. I'm at Jim's Firearms in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, checking out some Microtex. And we got some very hard to find Microtex right now that if you want, you better call up here, ask for Ross or Brian. They will take care of you right off the bat. One that I'm picking up today. We have the Stitch Ramlock with the fluted aluminum scales. And hopefully you can see that that's the price tag. And here's the knife. I've been chasing the manual stitch for a long time after blade show since I kind of passed on a blade show. And I like these aluminum scales. Now, it because it has aluminum scales and the big old backspacer and all that, it's a pretty hefty knife. But this is a big knife as well. Love that I can manually open it. I have the automatic just like this with the black aluminum without the fluting. These have the M390 MK, stone washed uh, primary and swedge and satin flats. The ergos on the manual and the auto stitch are just on another level. This little pinch grip right here, you know, cause that's a super bulky, bulky tip. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. You have the double retention clip there. They say inset the clip into the frame. Yeah, very heavy duty knife, especially with that ram lock. These are nice and smooth. Uh, the action's pretty darn good on this. As you can see, I can reverse flick. The ones I was handling at Blade Show, a few of them I could not reverse flick. And I will say with my MSI, these will break, they do break in. And my MSI's got really, really smooth. You know, now it's not a snappy, snappy detent like on a you know, frame lock or a liner lock that has a good detent but you know it's not gonna easily shake out on you so that's the manual stitch if you want one i think this is the last one they have they might have they, i think they have one more yeah they, they have they had three in total i'm buying one and you never know don't not call because you you think somebody already did because that happens way more than you think uh, and make sure you call the baton rouge louisiana one because their other store in florida they don't carry all these awesome knives thinking about picking this one up so we have the brand new ludt gen 3 stone wash standard Let's see the price tag and here's the knife i wish i had my gen 2 with me so i knew i know they added this grip tape which makes sense because this is an underwater demolition knife and just the regular aluminum scales, you would think that's kind of silly because you want all the grip you can get if you're underwater with a knife. And I've talked about the LUDT, one of my favorites from Microtech because there's so many little details that a lot of people don't notice. The Gen 3, they also added the recess lanyard tube. Another thing that makes sense if you're an underwater diver and you're buying this knife for that. I think they redesigned the pocket clip a little bit if I'm not mistaken. And just look at, look at that pivot. That is ginormous. And then look at that stop pin. Yeah. Looks like, um, I'm just going by memory, but it looks like the blade is canted up some, like it's higher than the Gen 2. Got the fuller there. And I love their, their raw stone wash. These are in M390 MK. I'm sure it's not focusing there. Feels a little bit more comfortable than the Gen Gen 2 for some reason. God, I wish I had another one. And another cool thing about the LUDT that I've always appreciated is the distal taper in the handle. You got it thicker right here and then it tapers down thinner. And for my medium sized hands, that is very, very comfortable. Especially for a flat scaled knife. The pocket clip is tip up right hand carry only and uh, these are usually known for their very snappy action now this one's still breaking in it's not as snappy as my gen 2 but i'm sure that will eventually change once it starts to uh, break in a nice beautiful crown spine there and these things are ground to slice i don't know if i better show you this look by my finger how thin it is right there mine measures i think right at like 13 thousandths behind the edge right here so it slices very, very well. So that is the LUDT Gen 3. We have another one 
that I eventually want to pick up, but this is the partial serrated version. This is the Amphibian Ramlock G10 with fluted G10, apocalyptic partial serrated. Uh, there's your price, and here is the knife. This fluted pattern on this G10 offers a lot of a lot of extra texture. You have a reversible pocket clip, and you have the mill pocket clip, mill tie clip on this one. Really wish they would have put a flat spot underneath that clip because that thing is pretty tight. This could be a pocket destroyer there. Nice uh, floating backspacer there in the middle, raised a little bit. I like, <laughs> I like the look of this. This is a big old knife. Feels good in hand. I will say that the there's a hard line right here on the G10 that I could see already would be uncomfortable for my hands at least. See right there how thin it gets and these little jumps. But these are built for the tactical operators out there that probably have gloves on anyway. Something that I could easily fix with the G10 by just knocking some of those corners down with some sandpaper. That's a wicked blade and I have to say over the last year, two years or so, I have really grown fond of the recurve for its performance aspects, especially when they're ground decently thin. This blade reminds me of the Emerson Commander. And why I love the, the recurve so much is that it traps material and just pulls it in and then that belly goes deep, deep into whatever you're cutting. So it just, they're, they're very aggressive cutters. I just noticed they actually put a sharpening tool right here, which you don't you see that often on recurved blades, but I'm guessing they did it because of the serrations, I'm not sure. Ooh, the serrations are sharp. The action on this. Ooh, this one's got some major stick. Ugh, I can't even unlock it, y'all. Wow, I haven't, I have not handled one of these that has lock stick, I can't, I can't cannot pull it back I'm not gonna drop this thing so I'll set it off to the side and let Ross take care of that we have some special edition out the fronts that I think they're super cool this first one is a UTX 85 Warhound blade with the Christmas handle y'all gotta check this. this is pretty cool so there's the price for right there and check this out you have the skull Santa red with the green button the candy cane stripes down the side the white glass breaker with the green clip and <laughs> check this out little die hard action for you we got the yippee ki -yay right here and the white with the red pinstripe in the, in the fuller and the satin flats warhound blade this thing is wicked looking the action on this thing is very nice uh, let's see if I can see. I can't see a blade still on this one. It's probably because it's uh, underneath that coating. But it's either M390, 204P, one of those. Hey, Ross, see if you can disengage this. It's stuck. <laughs> I tried. I mean, when I say hard. Dude, I was trying to do it on camera. He, he can't do it. He's, he's got both hands. So I don't feel that bad and that weak now. I got another version just like the one I just showed y'all. This is the Ultratech, however, the bigger version with the double-edged, and there's the price. So, a good bit cheaper than the one I just showed y'all. And here's the knife. So, same outside, longer handle, like the white hardware. And then you have that double edge with the center fuller with the red and then the sat satin flats. That is wicked looking. Super cool. I'm gonna save the best for last. This one's pretty darn cool too though. And I don't really know too much about what this means. This is the Cypher 2 signature series. And it says proof run on here. I don't know if that's the first run just so they can kind of see. I don't know. If you know, y'all let me know down in the comments what proof run is. There's your price tag. And here's the knife. I don't, they don't have a, a regular cipher for me to, to show it on side, but mill tie clip. You got this fluting in the aluminum frame. Big old hardware. Was it just stuck? Is yeah, I put a drop of oil on it. Okay, it he got it right out. Away. Okay, let's see. Nice action, and 
you got the Cypher 2 written on it. So wait, is it the Cypher 2? This must have just came out, huh? Wasn't that the first Cypher this year? I believe so. I don't know. All the Microtech fans out there, y'all let me know. Is this the Cypher 2, is this brand, brand new? Because I thought the regular Cypher just had came out. It's in the M390MK. This one has a two-tone, apocalyptic, and satin on the flats. It's either satin or stone wash. I can't really tell. Sorry about the lighting. This one has an outstanding action. The travel is, is good. It's not uh, overly you know, difficult. You got even got a satin here on the, the spine, and you got the apocalyptic on the rest. So yeah, what do y'all think about this one? This last one, if I had the money to burn, this one would definitely be going home with me. If, you, if you're uh, an 80s child or 90s child, this would probably hit home for you too. This is, you ready for this? The Combat Troodon Double Edge Signature Series. It's Slime White Standard. Do you know what it is yet? There's the price tag. And check this out. We have a Ghostbusters edition combat Troodon. You have the noted ghost. You got the green slime look splattered on there. We got the blue hardware. You got the Ghostbuster red here and here and on the back. And check that pocket clip out. You have the hazard pocket clip and the license plate from the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. Yeah, God, I knew that. Ecto-1. So yeah, this thing, just check that out. It's on the blade. Then you got the caution stripes down the fuller. Then you have also the satin on the flats. This thing is just wicked. Just look at that. The black background. Now hopefully that music's not coming across. But yeah... This thing is so cool. But, I mean, this is, uh, in my opinion, this is just a collector's piece. I wouldn't want to use this because it's just so cool. But if you have somewhere where you display cool knives, this is definitely one that I would want to put in that. So that is everything we have today. We have some awesome ones. These are all pretty much hard to get Microtech knives. Like I said, if you want one, don't hesitate. Call Jim's Farms in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Ask for Ross or Brian. They will take care of you. They help out a lot of people from the videos that uh, call in. Giving you one more shot of everything. He did get this. It was just stuck. And give you one more last closed shot of everything. Just so if you're trying to remember what all we showed. Here we go. The, the hardest to get right now would be this one because they just dropped the first round of them, the Gen 3 LUDT, and probably the, the manual stitch fluted aluminum. This one's gonna go super fast. I'm sure this one will. And, you know, collectors, I get this. If you like, you know, if you collect a lot of Microtechs, this one's, I guess, cool as well as this one. But for me, the cream of the crop would be the Ghostbusters uh, Troodon, Combat Troodon. All right, guys and girls, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please don't leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.